Welcome to ATCM, the Emergency Medicine Channel. Yes. A 79-year-old female uh, came to the ER with complaints of oral ulcers and uh, passage of black uh, loose stools. Uh, on our uh, primary assessment, uh, airway was patent, speaking, uh, she was speaking in full sentences, uh, breathing, uh, respiratory rate was 24 per minute with a saturation of 94, circulation, BP was 150 by 60 with a heart rate of 80 and uh, capillary refill time less than 2 seconds, uh, disability wise GCS was E4, V5, M6, pupils bilaterally equally reactive and temperature was uh, exposure wise temperature was 99 degree Fahrenheit with a GRBS of 209. On uh, adjuvants to primary survey, we took a CBC CRP point of care and a VBG. Uh, C uh, CBC CRP showed a total counts of 1500 uh, with uh, hemoglobin of 7.5, platelet 67000 and CRP of 120.4. Uh, the neutrophil count, uh, uh, like neutrophil ratio was 32 with a lymphocyte of 62.3. Uh, VBG wise, pH was 7.40 with PCO2 of 41, uh, bicarb of uh, 18.3 with uh, sodium 135, potassium 3.9, creat 0.9, uh, lactate of 1. Uh, so uh, at that time, uh, sir, we had uh, calculated, uh, like since uh, total counts was only 1500, uh, we had uh, calculated uh, the uh, absolute neutrophil count, it came out to be 480. 480. So, uh, 480. so uh, we, uh, patient was Can I grade uh, neutropenia? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, neutropenia, sir. Uh, to be called neutropenia, ANC should be less than 1500. Okay. Uh, then, sir, uh, severe neutropenia would be less than 500 cells. Okay. And profound neutropenia will be less than 100. Okay. So, so here it will be severe, severe neutropenia. Okay. Uh, so, sir, uh, coming to uh, 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 sir, uh, at, uh, coming to the sample history, sir, a patient, 79-year-old uh, female, known case of hypertension, dyslipidemia and diabetes, uh, came to the ER with LH history of uh, consumption, unknown consumption of uh, tablet methotrexate uh, for 9 days continuous. Mm. Uh, Can you tell something about methotrexate? What type of drug it is? What are the adverse effects? How do you treat the adverse effects? So, methotrexate is a uh, D, DM, uh, DMARD drug. Okay. Uh, so basically, it was an anti-cancer drug, anti -cancer basically. Drug, yeah. Then it became DMARD, okay. disease modifying anti rheumatoid drug. drug. Uh, so basically, uh, it is it was an anti-cancer drug. Uh, it is it has antifolate properties. Okay. Uh, so uh, the mechanism of action of uh, uh, methotrexate is it will inhibit dihydrofolate reductase in okay. the cells, okay. which will eventually lead to uh, not being able to produce tetrahydrofolate reductase, okay. which is actually needed for synthesis of thymid thymidine and purin, okay. which eventually leads to DNA synthesis. So uh, it, that way, it helps uh, in cancer in okay. anti as an anti okay. anti-cancer medicine. So, uh, its adverse effects, sir, it will cause, uh, most probably, it will affect the rapidly growing cells in the body. Mm -hmm. So, highly probable uh, of the GI mucosa and all the mucosas, okay. which are, uh, so it will cause uh, GI toxicity in the form of mucositis, nausea, abdom uh, abdominal pain, uh, loose stools, then it will cause uh, myelosuppression, sir. So, it can cause neutropenia, pancytopenia, uh, uh, and okay. all that. And again, it can cause nephrotoxicity. Okay. Since it's excreted through kidney, uh, it can cause acute kidney injury. It can also cause hepatotoxicity, uh, even cause fibrosis in CLD. There are a lot of drugs which can produce mucosal ulceration. ulceration. Mm -hmm. What is the difference between that type of mucosal ulceration to methotrexate induced uh, mucosal ulceration? Sir, methotrexate induced ulcerations will be very white, blanched, uh, appearance will be very uh, pale. Looking. Why? Because sir, there are not enough cells to produce the type. Uh, there are there is no inflammation, inflammation surrounding the ulcer. Ulcers. That is a classical finding in methotrexate in induced ulcers because there is no neutropenia mm -hmm. to produce neutrophil Inflation. cells to produce an inflammation mm -hmm. surrounding that ulcer area. So you get a pale ulcer. Mm -hmm. That is a classical finding of methotrexate. Okay. Uh, so, for treatment of uh, methotrexate toxicity, liver, have, any problem? Uh, uh, hepatotoxicity, it will cause okay. so hepatotoxicity, and later it can produce liver mm -hmm. and lung fibrosis. fibrosis also okay. Pneumonia, so, that is a one of the that is a one of the major problem of methotrexate. After mm -hmm. sometimes we start for rheumatoid arthritis or any other immune uh, modulated disease. After sometimes patient can develop uh, lung uh, fibrosis. Mm -hmm. Not in all patients, mm -hmm. rarely. So, we will have a confusion whether this is produced by the disease or this <coughs> is produced by the drug. drug. So, 
So that we have to keep in mind when we are starting the drug. But acute problems are a bone marrow suppression. Okay. So uh, if uh, methotrexate uh, uh, toxicity can be uh, treated by giving folinic acid. Sir. Okay. So uh, uh, first you should know how to prevent it. Okay. Prevention is by folic giving acid. folic acid. Uh, treatment is giving, uh, by giving folinic acid. That is an active form of the drug. Okay. So this uh, female uh, so alleged history of unknown ingestion of uh, tablet methotrexate for nine days, uh, following which uh, each tablet was 7.5 mg. Okay. So following that, uh, she developed oral ulcers initially. Uh, then for that, she went to outside hospital. Uh, there, on uh, to doing the blood test and all, the, she was diagnosed to have pancytopenia. Mm. Uh, she was admitted in that hospital, mm. and following that, there itself she started developing a loose stools, which are uh, black. Uh, black colored loose stools. What are the other conditions you can get black colored stools? So, UGA, Melina. Melina. Melina is the UGA classical UGA. condition. Then. So, Melina due to either liver causes. Any, any disease uh, like that can produce Melina, Melina. can produce black okay. stools. Yes, any other condition you can get bla black stools. So, iron consumption, iron tablet. Bisphone One of the most problem is iron, iron <coughs> tablets or iron syrup <coughs> patient might have taken. Okay. So she was uh, admitted there. Uh, there uh, she was treated with. Uh, uh, she, since she was having pancytopenia, they had started her on Piptas, okay. and also she was started on Leucovirin. Okay. But her total counts further dropped. So to why uh, in pancytopenia? Why you are starting the antibiotic? What is the ideal antibiotic? What organism we are targeting here to tell all this? Sir, uh, usually in uh, pancytopenia, neutropenia especially, we uh, prefer a, a broad spectrum beta lectin, which also had an anti pseudomonal coverage. Okay. So we need to start a drug which can prevent pseudomonas. Okay, that is the ideal drug. Yeah. Okay. So which are the ideal drugs okay. which are used for prevention of uh, pseudomonas infection in neutropenia? Prevents, which can prevent, but with, which may not be very useful for treatment. Ceftazidim is the uh, most commonly used drug, mm. most commonly used mm. because it's not very costly mm. and it, we don't use for much other in, uh, infections. Mm. Ceftazidim is one of the uh, best drugs to prevent, mm. but once the patient develops an infection, then ceftazidim may not be adequate. So, mm. what are the drugs which can be used there? So, uh, we, uh, in it, uh, medoponin, pip Okay. Then we can also go for uh, ceft ceftazidine. Okay. So what is, uh, is see, if you have a patient who is having real pseudomonas infection, is one drug is enough to treat or? No, so we, um, usually monotherapy is preferred. Yes. Monotherapy is Ideally, you have to give dual okay. drug therapy. One drug is definitely uh, as to, yeah, anyway you are giving. But some patients can develop uh, resistance or because we are not getting the culture report immediately. So normally, uh, dual drug therapy is advised in uh, pseudomonas real infections. Okay. But prevention and uh, m minimal infections, uh, one drug will be enough. So, so uh, you can give piperacin tazobactam with? Uh, with? Quinolones? Quinolones can cover. Can that is enough. But uh, do you uh, stop there and you want to give something else for this type of patients? Only pseudomonas is the car. Antifungal is one. One more. Anti MRSA. MRSA. So, pseudo anti pseudomonas drug has to be there. Antifungal has to be there. Third one is MRSA. Anti MRSA. These three drugs uh, ideally should be given in a sick patient. Okay. Uh, so, sir, uh, she was treated there with Pictas and Leucovirin and okay. she was uh, referred here for further management. Leucovirin, what is the dose? Uh, so, Leucovirin, sir, initially we start uh, for in toxicity 15 mg IV mm. every 6 hourly. Okay. Uh, Tablets are available tablet in 25 mg. So, sir, uh, on arrival here, uh, on arrival here, that she was no ha did not have any history of any abdominal pain, only decreased urine output, any breathing difficulty, cough, no rashes, or any hematuria. So, sir, uh, uh, she was not allergic to any known medications and she was on medic uh, her regular medications were uh, human mixtar, glimepride, atorvastatin, clopidogrel and calcium supplements. Okay. We stopped the clopidogrel at that moment. So, sir, uh, in ER itself, uh, after the patient came, uh, after taking blood cultures, we started her on piperacillin as well as fluconazole stat was okay. given. Okay. And then, sir, patient was admitted. Uh, sir, we sent for the routine labs. Uh, uh, and uh, sent for the routine labs. So the labs came out to be a CRP of 131.5 with a hemoglobin of 7.5, total counts of 1.1, uh, neutrophil with 6.58%, uh, uh, which comes, uh, which came out to be around. Uh, 
30 cents only. Okay. 30, uh, actually, neutrophil count was uh, around 30. Then, sir, uh, with the urea, uh, creatinine was normal, 0.8. OTPTs were normal. Uh, all electrolytes were normal. And with the INR of 1.43. Hmm. Uh, so, sir, patient was admitted in ICU and proper neutropenic care was given and reverse okay. isolation was... Okay. What is the neutropenic care you can okay. give? Sir, uh, patient all the neutropenic be? care from head to bottom. Sir, uh, First of all, patient has to be uh, reverse isolated. Reverse Some isolation people, is required. Uh, patient then. has to be uh, isolated. Then only one staff has to take care of the patient. Okay. Staff should be well, uh, personal uh, protective equipment of the staff uh, should be uh, donned. Uh, gloves, mask, uh, gown, everything should be given. So all things we'll tell, everyone okay. will tell. Right. You have to tell little more. Then, uh, sir. Uh, what okay. else, sir? Where is, what is the area we can get MRSA in our, in our body? Which area it is? Skin. Uh, nasal. 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 So there you have to ideally uh, uh, put uh, mipirazine ointment. Mm -hmm. Okay. That is a one of the common area uh, where we can harbor uh, this MRSA. Mm -hmm. So in all these patients, ideally we have to put mipirazine ointment there. Okay. But most of the time we will forget that. That is one of the focus of uh, MRSA. Okay. Especially healthcare workers. But uh, in community, whether it is there or not, we don't know. Uh, so, sir, uh, oral cavity, oral cavity care is also very important because that is another area where you get uh, focus of infections, mm -hmm. especially uh, gram positive anaerobes. <coughs> okay. uh, sir, uh, uh, as her CRP was uh, increasing, uh, we started her on uh, injection ticoplanin also. Okay, what is that drug? Uh, so that is actually it is a uh, bacteriostatic drug. In, it inhibits the peptidoglycan uh, in synthase inhibitor. It uh, covers mostly gram positive cocci. What 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 is, what is there in your mind when you are starting that? Um, so since uh, patient ticoplanin is, is used in which type of infection? It would be very specific. MRSA. 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 So, M MRSA. We are starting oh. it for MRSA. MRSA. There are a lot of drugs which can cover gram positive. Mm. We are not starting all those things like mm. amoxicillin, clavulinic acid. They all cover, but we are not. We are specifically starting some drug to uh, uh, counter MRSA. Uh, sir, when patient was started on uh, hydration yes. as well as uh, patient was started on uh, hepatoprotective measures, uh, we started on n acetyl cysteine. Uh, we pa started the patient with folic acid supplements of uh, leucovorin was given. Okay. Uh, then uh, leucovorin mouthwash was also given to the patient for the um, oral uh, ulcers. Then sir, uh, we uh, also give the patient a granulocyte stimulating factor initially. Mm. Okay. Uh, injections what is the dose? Uh, it's 300 units. Okay. Tell me one contraindication for granulocyte stimulating factor. Leukemia. Leukemia. Where leukemia, we have to be very careful. Leukemia. Some patients with leukemia can get very low counts, but in that condition, we have to be very careful. What is the condition where you, this is indicated? That means only this is the only chemotherapy induced drug induced uh, bone marrow suppression is the indication for colony stimulating factor but we can try in viral or tuberculosis everywhere wherever there is a bone marrow suppression we can try but the best results will be obtained in uh, drug induced. Uh, sir, uh, <coughs> one pint of PRBC was transfused. What are other stimulating factors, colony stimulating factors? This is colony stimulating factor. Here it is used in sense of like uh, uh, only WBC count. There are other co uh, drugs which can stimulate your bone marrow. What are the other? Erythropoietin. L thrombopain. L thrombopain is used in? Platelet uh, disorder. What is the indication for L thrombopain? Uh, ITP and? Uh, ITP and? Current indication is hepatitis. Hepatitis C in, induced uh, uh, thrombocytopenia. thrombocytopenia. Okay, not in dengue and all. But we can try it uh, and see the response. But as of now, indication is only that much. ITP is the uh, most important indication. Okay. So, uh, this patient, uh, one pint PRBC was transfused as a hemoglobin drop was there from 7, uh, 7.5 to 7. And then also patient was started on... What are the indications of blood transition in, in your patient, in a patient in ICU? Indications for PRBC transition. So, ongoing blood loss with hemoglobin drop of more than 1... Where it is given? What is the guideline? 
you have to be very specific we can give blood transfusion we can give antibiotic but as a post graduate you have to tell me the indication for blood transfusion in your icu ongoing blood loss is not you have to specifically tell at uh, no, what level okay any patient in your icu less than 7 okay. you, you can transfuse in cardiac cardiac then less than 10 10 okay you have to keep it 10 these are the two indication you should remember but we treat the patient with hemoglobin suppose the patient is having weakness many doctors transfuse suppose the patient is having uh, trauma with minimal blood loss also many transfuse but indications are specific very specific in icu if it is less than 7 you transfuse if it is less than 10 in coronary artery disease you transfuse these are the two major indications but all other things may be add on indications okay trauma also there are different types of indications okay Yes, sir. Uh, then uh, these patients, uh, since counts were not uh, uh, picking up, the okay. total counts fell down to three uh, hundred cells. Then okay. Then uh, one uh, six pints of buffy coat uh, were transfused for the patient. Okay. Uh, also. So what is this buffy coat okay. transfusion? Can yes, you tell me? So it is actually a granulocyte uh, transfusion. So when you when you centrifuge the blood, We RBCs, uh, platelets, all settle down. Hmm. Then the t- buffy coat okay. will contain mainly. Plasma and, and uh, WBCs. WBCs. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, sir, uh, that is from different donors. We can get pooled, okay. and then we can transfuse okay. to the patient. Okay. So, buffy coat was transfused as well as uh, uh, another uh, pint of uh, granulocyte was transfused. How long it will stay in your body? One twenty. Maximum twenty-four hours. Because you can see the patient <coughs> who is taking any drug within twenty-four hours, it's dropping. Within twenty-four hours, it it can increase. So, mm-hmm. maximum time it can remain in our body is only twenty-four hours. Mm-hmm. So following that we had also transfused uh, granulocyte uh, one pint of granulocyte uh, concentrate okay. to the patient and uh, that we had done uh, patient, like uh, transfusing a healthy donor mm. a relative of the patient with uh, we had given him uh, granulocyte stimulating factor mm. as well as uh, steroids mm. and after that uh, what is the action of steroids in your bone bone marrow stimulation you, similar, you can see many patient after giving steroids the counts uh, increase to 20000 30000 Okay, they are also actually colony stimulating factors, but it is not a specific colony stimulant. So it 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 acts everywhere and it acts in the bone marrow also. Okay. Yes, sir. So, so uh, after that, one uh, through apheresis, the WBC was collected and then uh, it was transfused to the patient. Okay. So after that, the patient uh, is now improving. The total okay. counts has also improved to two thousand five hundred now. Okay. With, uh, the, uh, the ulcers are healing. Fever spikes okay. have stopped. So can you get fever? And, and, uh, Fever, fever. Suppose patient is having infection. Can you get fever always in this type of patients? No, sir. Okay. So neutropenic yeah. sepsis is by definition itself. You can read the definitions. If the patient is having high temperature or low temperature, both are uh, highly suggestive of an infection. Okay. Many patients with neutropenia may not have fever at all because there is no immune system to produce the fever. Some patients can have. hypothermia uh, in a patient with sepsis <coughs> so we have to be very careful both hyperthermia and hypothermia are dangerous okay so what happened to the patient currently what what she's, all uh, she is currently admitted but oh. she her symptoms are improving so what all things are uh, are be given like uh, are given to the patient so uh, she is on uh, right so now so we are given blood uh, transfusion blood transfusion is given we are given erythropoietin is given so uh, this colony stimulating colony stimulating fat to exhibit leucovorin is going on okay leucovorin is going on and folic acid supplementation uh, folic acid there. supplementation has yeah. to be started along with leucovorin because uh, it, we have to fill the uh, storage space yeah. of uh, folic acid in the body then sir antibiotics uh, antibiotics are anti pseudomonal yeah. anti mrsa antibiotic has to be given antifungal then, is also given antifungal has to be given and now we are giving Uh, uh, plate, sorry, buffy coat and buffy coated cells and granulocytes. Okay. Anything else you want to add? That's all. Thank you. Thank you.